Hey guys, Connor here with Chrome Designs. Thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, today we have part two of my graffiti style background tutorial. Uh, we've just created the text in Cinema 4D. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and edit the text, edit the background, or make a background, and watch all the pieces fall together and hopefully have a nice graffiti style uh, template uh, for you guys to use as your YouTube background. So uh, let's get started, shall we? We'll go ahead and we'll go to File, Place. Let's go ahead and import the text. I called mine uh, five A's and delete or something, uh, just so it came at the top. So I don't have to go searching through it, uh, all my files. Um, but no, we'll rasterize the layer while we're there, just make it completely editable. Control T, and just gonna scale it around 90 degrees, make it over here on the left hand side. I'm going to scale it down while I'm there, like so, and that is good. So there's the text there, obviously it's really boring with all the YouTube greyness, uh, which is not what we want, so we're going to go ahead and make the background colour black, like so, and we're going to make a light kind of effect, we're going to do this by just going to a brush, and the size I'm using is 1714, and I think this works fine, and I've got a colour of a nice turquoise kind of blue. And bear in mind, this colour will be darkened uh, through to some secondary effects, so uh, bear that in mind. At least mine will be anyway, obviously. If you want to, don't want to do it, that's fine, it's up to you. Uh, but go ahead and we'll press twice, and we'll get a nice kind of glow going on. In fact, you can maybe even drag it. No, you can't. Now, we'll leave it there, that's fine. We've got a glow, and obviously it'll fade to black. Uh, zoom in just a tad. I'm going to zoom in on this side here. That's what we're going to be working on. I'm not going to work on this side, but obviously you can duplicate whatever over here and just apply it to this side. Uh, or maybe you can just copy the merged and copy that way. It's up to you. Uh, it'll be a waste of time to me to do it though anyway. Uh, but on this little glow, we'll go into the blending uh, layer styles and we're going to add a pattern overlay. I mean, I've got this pattern that's a scan line, uh, horizontal scan lines anyway. And as you see here, in fact, I will zoom over here. You see these little lines going across. Uh, this gives a nice kind of graffiti effect, I feel. Um, I'm not going to make it, this is not going to show how you're doing this tutorial because it's uh, extra minutes. You can just YouTube search if you want, or if you want me to make a tutorial, quick tip or something in the next couple of days. Comment in the section below, thumbs up, or things people have already done it. Um, and no, I'll maybe get to that. But anyway, on the Chrome Layer Text Cinema 4D, We'll add an outer glow, uh, blend mode normal with a colour of black, and we'll really crank up the size. You know, you want it quite deep, you don't, because uh, without the outer glow, it looks kind of standard and boring, so uh, we'll make uh, add a bit of depth to it, like so. Okay, and there we go, we've got some nice text going on. And as far as that goes, it's already coming into place a lot uh, with the whole grunge feel. Uh, one thing I can do is uh, we're going to add a bit of more shine on this text. Now, we could have done this in Cinema 4D, but uh, getting the uh, whole lightness of it is quite hard. Uh, so for this purpose of making a YouTube background, it can be really easy. Uh, we'll select the layer, make a new layer, just so it comes just above it. And we'll get a square. If you press D on your keyboard, which turns to standard black and white, and X will switch the color, so white is your foreground color. We'll go ahead and we'll just make a nice big rectangle covering half of the text or so, the top half. And uh, that's looking good. I'll go control T and I'm going to rotate it just a little bit uh, Just like so So you're covering that part of the text and I'm going to make that a clipping mask over the chrome So hold alt and click in between the layers and you'll see that it overlays onto the text Now obviously this is not what you want even if you lower down the opacity You'll see that it still looks amateur and you can tell that it's done on Photoshop in a kind of uh, bog standard way because the what's supposed to be black is now like a light grey uh, so you want to try and get it so it doesn't include the black it just goes over the blue so to do this you just go to the blending style and we're going to change it to overlay and as you see that will just apply onto the text and it will leave the black as it is uh, maybe even increase the opacity to something about 30% and so we've got a nice sham there uh, makes the text, uh, gives that little something extra to it as well, uh, which I really like. Obviously, you can actually use uh, a pen tool and do this if you want to get some kind of curves going on. Uh, but that is really down to you. Um, yeah, just trying to think about what to do next. Oh, this is uh, this is the final product that I've created. 
Um, so we'll go ahead and uh, I see these grunge uh, background going on. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll go fit on screen, zoom in maybe just a tad. Now if I go to YouTube, uh, make a new layer, not YouTube, uh, internet rather. And if I just type in grunge, like so. And uh, when my internet decides to work, this could be really. In the <laughs> there we go. And we go type in grunge. I'm just gonna go large. Obviously, you can use any pitch you want. This is just to really amplify the whole kind of street kind of feel. And the grunge I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use this one here. And I'm just gonna copy this in. This is a really large grunge file, so I'm gonna close that. And um, I'll make a new layer just above the glow. And I'll command paste it in. And uh, you see this fills the whole document, which is a bit too big for our liking. Uh, but go ahead and change it to overlay. And you'll see that it just overlays onto the blue glow, which is really what we want. Uh, but it's a bit big, so to really get, uh, get more of the cracks in there, if we literally uh, crank down the size of this uh, actual grunge in this layer, uh, just so it fits more, you get more of the aspect in there, more of the little cracks, which uh, means for a good effect like so maybe just drag it down a little bit more there we go and as you see that's looking good the actual pixel so yeah uh, makes the background look a lot nicer and uh, one other thing I like to do is if you see this text here you see that this has actually got uh, a kind of grunge feel on the text as well yeah so let's go ahead and duplicate that layer and I'll just put it above the little rectangle that we made above the text and I'll create a clipping mask on that as well so it'll just overlay onto the text as you see there so that gives a really nice kind of color uh, maybe a bit strong for my liking even though it does actually look quite good uh, but I'm going to lower it down to about 80% or so and there we go we've got some nice uh, text going on and uh, as far as that goes that's looking good uh, if we zoom out just a little bit actual pixels uh, just trying to think about what to do now. We've got these little brushes in the background, like so. So maybe go ahead and do that uh, as a last step. So just in front of this uh, other layer that we just made in the grunge, we'll make a new go to brush. We'll lower down the size to something that suits your uh, suits what you want to do. 32 pixels works okay for me, and uh, we'll go over here to brushes. Uh, you can just go to uh, window and go brush there if you don't have it selected. Uh, but we'll go in there and go scattering. And uh, these are, we've got, I've got scatter at the most. And uh, count jitter on the most and count on one. And I'll just go ahead and, you know, just create some nice kind of brush kind of things. Like so. Just do a few bursts because uh, one problem with this, because we're using a large document, Problem with this is that uh, the brush will be closed together, even though the scatter is on 100% what it can go to. Because it's on a large document, the scatter uh, won't seem as much as, say, use 1280 by 720 pixels. Uh, the, the separation between each dot would be uh, on a greater scale. Um, but that's okay. We'll maybe just create the opacity to overlay, like so. And that calls for a nice effect to get a nice kind of ambivalent glow going on. Um, looks quite good, in my opinion and uh, kind of add to the whole street kind of particles kind of feel and one last thing I've actually got this brush uh, as you've seen that proof and it's a lightning streak brush so if I manage to find it in all of these brushes JS lightning brushes there we go now I go ahead and maybe put one of them in in fact now I'll just put it in the middle and then I go control T and I'll go ahead and edit it and I'll just put that brush over there say and I can just duplicate that as well. Go edit, transform, and vertical. And just drag that one over there, say. Like so. And there we have it, pretty much. You know, there's a good uh, kind of glow streak. You maybe lower the opacity, should you will. Um, but no, that is looking good. So obviously, this process can just be repeated for the next side, or you want to leave the next side blank, or you want to put something else. But you can just copy it, copy merged. Uh, but you got the skills now and I know how to do that. So that's all from me guys. Thank you so much for watching this video of being Connor with Chrome Designs. And uh, I'll see you guys soon.